by the amazing Tashina Holistic Coach. Before we get started with our presentation today, as um, I've mentioned and, and many of you may be aware, this is an opportunity for networking. So what we're going to do is just have you, the, uh, for those that have joined, if you could just share, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit about your business, what you do, and then what do you want to get from today's workshop? So again, if you don't mind, if you want to just jump in, just say who you are, what your business is, and what you expect to get from today's workshop. <laughs> Hello. I I didn't know I wasn't prepared. I didn't know. Like, I thought I was just listening. I am Ryan. Um I will put my um my Instagram. That's usually where you can find me, Ryan Ashley for real. I am just working on some things. I'm up rebooting um my website and I am a young living uh brand partner. And I just encourage um, encourage women to just show up as their best selves every day and just enhance our, our everyday work life. Um, and uh, using plant oils and motivation, I'm really big on motivation and encouraging us to just show up as our best selves every day. I love it. I love it. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. And what are you hoping to get from today's workshop? I was really excited about... Um, learning about the different personalities and, and that I always forget which is which and what is what. And there's so many different different ones. So when I saw this one was available, I was like, yes, I can take some notes and jot it down. So I'm excited to hear about it. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, welcome. Who wants to go next? Monique. Okay. Hi. Um, I'm excited to be here also. Um, when I was reading through what the actual... Um, I, I, when I was reading what the, the course was about, it was exciting because I would like to be able to use my personality or my strengths in my business because this is new, um, being an entrepreneur. So that's what I'm looking to get out of, um, really draw on some of the work I've done within the last year or so and uh, have that as a springboard or motivation um, to use within my business, which is West Tech Possibilities. Um, what I'm, I'm using myself, uh, I'm putting myself into it, my teaching, my learning of different uh, coding languages, my love for um, teaching kids and inspiring uh, the youth in the Detroit area for now um, in the field of tech. So it's good to be here. Thank you for uh, the work you put into it, Tashina. It's good to see everyone. Awesome. Welcome. How exciting. All right, Katrina, are you prepared to gonna share say, with us? I, I was going to say, I feel like I'm Max. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell us about who you are, your business, and then what do you hope to get from today's workshop? Okay. So my name is Katrina Reed. I am going to put my social handle in my name. I am, um, I'm Reed the Realtor. I, uh, do real estate in DC, Maryland, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. And I also am a credit confidence coach. And so today's event for me is kind of like Tashina said, I want to, like, I know about the personalities and I don't think I figured out what mine is. So I really want to hone in on what my uh, personality is because then that'll help me to better and effectively work with other personalities. Awesome. Awesome. And of course, I will just go ahead. If you don't know who I am, I am Lita Harlem, of course, the founder of DMV Business Crossing Network. And of course, Business Crossing Network is all about just creating connections for success through resources, networking, events, workshops, everything that you could possibly need so that your business can thrive. So I'm excited to be here. Like you all, I'm very excited about just understanding the various personalities and, and then how to really take that knowledge and benefit, you know, my various brands that I have and, you know, even just on a personal level. So with that said, and of course, as you all have done, um, changing your name is excellent. Also drop information in the chat. We definitely want this to be interactive. So you can put your links in the chat as well. Um, if you have questions that come up or statements or anything like that, feel free to utilize the chat. 
And with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Tashida. All righty, all righty. Thank you guys so much. So again, I'm Tashina. I'm a holistic business coach. I've been blessed to share this framework in various different corporate settings. Um, and I really have been studying it and perfecting it, believe it or not, for probably over 25 years because <laughs> it first came into my life when I was a teen and my mom had took the test at work. And many of us take the DISC test at work or on a job, and then we never develop or fully understand it. And I've even recently added to this presentation another layer of understanding. So throughout the presentation, I am gonna to refer to DISC. Um, and if you use another framework, you might have to do a little bit of translation just because I actually have two different colors in there and it gets real confusing because if I use the colors, then you won't know which one I'm talking about. So I'm gonna to continue to uh, refer to it as DISC. I did put in the, the best test so far, which I've also changed that one that I believe will help you understand it. But one of the things that I always, always, always share with everyone for sure when I'm sharing this, remember that this is a framework. So like the, I hate, I actually hate when people will question what people are or use it as an excuse. This is just information and every person is unique. This is just a little bit about more self-awareness for you and how to speak to other people in a better way that they might understand just based on their tendencies. But we are all dynamic. We all have free will. We can all do any of the things, but we do tend to operate better when we work within our strengths. So this will highlight some of those things. So again, if you're in the sales or networking area, you may have heard of colors. And those are usually the um, red, green, blue, and yellow. If you're in a business setting, it's usually referred to as DISC. And then if you've ever had it come up in a psych psychology, like you went to a therapist setting, you may have heard of the people code or personality plus, because those were developed by psychologists and the people code actually is, is the colors as well. So that's why I'm going to refer to this the whole time when we're talking about this, but we do have a box at the end that puts some of it together. So for some reason, I like to understand history and origin of things, so I looked it up. So the idea of the four temperaments traces back to an ancient Greek medical theory that there were four fundamental bodily humors, blood, yellow bile, black bile, and phlegm, which could cause illness if they were out of balance. The term sanguine, choleric, melancholic, and phlegmatic were coined by the Greek physician Aelius Gallinus to describe the effects of these humors on human behavior. This idea is perhaps one of the oldest that looks like the theory of personality. The four temperaments have never been a part of modern medicine or psychological science, but remain fairly well known due to their use by self-help and spirituality authors. So again, we're gonna refer to this throughout this, but we're gonna pull up tons of different charts and details about all the different frameworks, but every time I, I will go back to what these are. So D is where we usually start out. And that one is known as the one that is dominant, direct, demanding, decisive, determined, and the doer. After that, we have our I, which is tends to be inspiring, influencing, impressionable, interactive, impressive, and involved. After that, we have our S, which tends to be supportive, stable, steady, sweet, status quo, and can be shy. We then have our C, which is cautious, calculating, competent, conscientious, contemplative, and careful. So as you can see from the chart on the left, you do tend to have two dominant ones. So I actually um, recently took the people code and found out I am an ID. That is what I actually am. Although I can fake the C very well because I am in the auto 
automotive industry. I'm the oldest child. I have two parents that have high C, so I can fake the C very well. And the test that um, I put in the chat, if you take that one, it will actually separate you out in your work personality and in your other personality. And so my C is a lot higher in my work personality because that's how I have to behave. But in my true natural personality, I am an ID. And so if you look at the chart on your right, you'll see how this influences how you interact with other people. So your D and your I's tend to be extroverts, but the D is results oriented. They both are action oriented and the I has a lot more enthusiasm. And then you see the I and the S are on the same spectrum because they are very people oriented and they're both good at collaboration and your S is very good at support. And then if you look to the bottom, you see the C and the S have similarities in their stability. And so the C is also going to be very high in accuracy. And then the D and the C together on the left-hand side, they both challenge. Your C is gonna a lot of times challenge more of your data and the um, D is gonna challenge actually people. So this is the basic framework of DISC. So the people code, the people code is another framework, another book. This one I recently read and I re recently took the test. And this one, the biggest difference is your motive. And your motive actually is extremely, extremely important. So the people code actually when I took it. So when I first came across DISC, as I mentioned, I was 14 years old and my mom had taken it at work and she came home and she said, I took a test at work. And she was like, and I tested you too. And it said that you were D, you're direct demanding. And she, she listed all of those things. And, and my first thought was, Mm, why are you saying that like it's a bad thing? <laughs> my second thought was, well, I wonder where I get it from because it's showing my daddy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure I get it from you. So when I took the people code for the first time, it actually showed that I didn't have any C and it actually had my I higher than my D. And that was the first time that that had ever happened. And the reason why is because the people code actually tracks your motive motivation. So on this chart, the first thing that we're looking at right here is our D, our dominant. And that motivation, and this is important for you to think about when you're trying to assess which one you are, for the D is power. That is what motivates them. And this is the reason why I had to actually reassess and decide that my, my D, or, and, it's, and this one is the only one that's always red no matter what color it is, my D actually is lower than my I because of this. So it turns out for me, I'm actually a higher I whose motivation is fun. So what I actually did because I had parent, I had one parent that was a high D and both of them are high C. I wanted to be cute and fun and I want to do things, but I never felt like I was rewarded for that. So I actually filtered my I through my D. So when you meet me, you would think that I was a D. Even my friend that told me when I took the test, he, he was like, oh, I thought you were, I thought you were a D. Like you came up by because that's how I get things done. So I, I'm a driver and I'm like results oriented because I got straight A's because that was the way that I got pats on the head. Like I was the teacher's pet because that's how I got attention. So I actually filter my eye through so it's really important to understand what your so when i think about achieving i never achieve because i like to be in control and i like the power that's never my motivation my motivation is to like have fun and be around more people and be on stage so it's really this is one you really really want to understand clearly when you're assessing who you are so just to to deep dive these a little bit more again the d is the first one we're looking at they have a leadership vision. And again, I'm still an ID. I still have some of this in me. It's just that my driving force is the I. So they are power wielders. They have the ability to move from point A to point B to get things done. And that is what motivates and drives these people. They bring a great gifts of vision and leadership and generally are responsible, decisive 
proactive and assertive. So in this particular chart, the next one is actually our C. So we're looking at our C. It's, it's referred to as blue on this one, but it's actually our C. So their core motivation is actually intimacy. So they are the do-gooders and they're motivated by in intimacy, connecting, creating quality relationships and having purpose is what motivates and drives these people. They bring great gifts of quality and service and are generally loyal, sincere, and thoughtful. So again, this is our C. The next one is actually our S. So our S is our steady and their core, core motivation is peace. So our S's are peacekeepers. The ability to stay calm and balanced even in the midst of conflict is what motivates and drives these people. They bring great gifts of clarity and tolerance and are generally kind, adaptable, and good listeners. And then lastly, our I, that is the one, their core motivation is fun and they bring enthusiasm and optimism to everything they do. So they are fun lovers, the joy of living life in the moment is what motivates and drives these people. They bring great gifts of enthusiasm and optimism and are gener generally char charismatic, spontaneous, and sociable. Okay, so this is the other colors, which is coming right after colors we just saw. And again, we got to translate it to our dispersonality. So the first one that we have on here is actually our S. So our S loves to help others. They tend to put their needs last. They enjoy encouraging others. They're comfortable behind the scenes. Our next one is actually our C. And again, these are just tendencies. They tend to be researchers. They tend to be very methodical. They can be slow to make decisions. They can be uncomfortable in new situations. They tend to like facts and data. And then our next one is our I, and they tend to love to have fun. They tend to be the life of the party. They enjoy meeting new people. They love to travel. And the last one is our D. They're self-motivated, driven to succeed, leader and planner, well-organized and comfortable with taking charge. Okay, so now this one has lots of information on it, but it's some val valuable information of what your possible weaknesses will be and how you interact with people. So starting with our D, again, our dominant driver, some general characteristics are they are direct and decisive. They have high ego strength. So I actually had to look that up when I first saw that. That just means that they tend to have a very good sense of self. So when someone says something against who they are, they don't tend to get shaken very easily. They tend to be problem solvers, risk takers, self starters. So the value that they bring to the team, they are a bottom line organizer. This is another important one to remember with the D. So take me as a ID. The D is still very high for me. And so people will come to me all the time to be like, I'm very good at organizing events and being in charge and taking the lead, but I am a bottom line organizer. So like I will have the chart and I'll be like, you're in charge of decorations. You're in charge of the stage. You do this, you do this. And then we'll be at the event and then someone will come over to me with the decorations. I'll be like, where do you want me to put these? And I'm like, I don't know. I gave that job to you. I don't want the details. <laughs> I don't do details. I do the bottom line organizing. I gave it to you so that you can figure out where to put every single bit of the decoration. So that's what it means to be a bottom line organizer. They are also, they will challenge the, the status quo. They place a high value on time. They tend to be innovative. And so um, their weaknesses are, they tend to um, be argumentative, have an argumentative attitude. They dislike routine. 
They will attempt too much as at once. They love to overstep authority. And their greatest fear is being taken advantage of. So that goes back to their uh, what we said was one of their motivators. They like to be in power. So the thing that they fear the most is not being in power. And again, at the top and the side, you'll see a few of these little things that we mentioned before. The D is an active lifestyle. So that tends to be one that you see more on an extroverted person. Then we move over to our I. So that's our influencing and inspiring. And they are enthusiastic. They are trusting and optimistic. They are persuasive and talkative. They tend to be impulsive and emotional. And their value that they bring to the team is they are creative problem solvers. They tend to be great encouragers. They tend to be able to motivate each other, other people. And they, are, they have a positive sense of humor. They negotiate conflicts and they can be verbal peacemakers. Some of their possible weaknesses are that they can be more concerned with popularity because they like fun than tangible results. They can be inattentive to details. They can overuse gestures and facial expressions. And they tend to only learn when it's convenient. And their greatest fear is rejection. So the, again, their active lifestyle. And as we look to the right-hand side, they are people oriented. So then we go to our S or our studies. Their general characteristics are, they are good listeners and team players. They can be possessive. They tend to be steady and predictable. They tend to be understanding and friendly. The value that they bring to the team are they are reliable and dependable, loyal team workers, they're compliant towards authority, good listeners, patient, empathetic, good at resolving conflicts. Their possible weaknesses are they can resist change, take, take a long time to adjust to change. They can hold a grudge and be sensitive to criticism. They have difficulty establishing priorities and their greatest fear is a loss of security. And then again, both the I and the S are people oriented. So what that really means is that they tend to think of people first, right? So they're going to think of the effects of people. They're going to think of, um, they're going to be the ones that do a little bit more of the overthinking and how is this going to affect other people? What are they thinking of that? And then our S is also more of a passive style. They they don't tend to be like to be in the front, the leadership. They're they're willing to be a passive. And then we move over to our C, who is compliant and correct, and they tend to be accurate and analytical, conscientious and careful, fact finders and precise. They tend to have high standards and be systematic. And the value that they bring to the team. Perspective, they are the voice of reality, conscientious and even tempered, thorough in all activities. They will like to gather and criticize and define the solutions through their use of information. And their possible weaknesses are they need clear cut boundaries for actions. They can be bound by their data. They get bogged down by a lot of data and details. And they prefer not to verbalize their feelings. And they, a lot of times, will give in rather than argue. And their greatest fear is criticism. So again, they tend to be passive, which leads to a lot of those reactions that we're mentioning. And again, our, both our C and our D tend to be task-oriented. So an example of this is a lot of times you can go to a D or a C and you will try to explain, well, you shouldn't do that because that's going to hurt someone's feelings. 
Well, they're task oriented and they're results oriented. So a better way to communicate that would be, so I know you want X to happen. You do realize if you don't do this, then that person isn't going to perform X because their feelings will be hurt. Whereas if you explain to an S, oh, you're going to hurt that person's feelings. Oh, I don't want to hurt people's feelings because they think of people first. Whereas the D and the C think of tasks first. And then this is another um, chart. This one deals with personality plus. And it just gives you more information on the interactions and a few things about these personalities. So we're actually starting in our left quadrant, our top left quadrant there is actually our I is what we have first on this chart. And then next to that, we actually have our D. So we can see that it cause a, a, a D, I, or ID, a natural blend, because those are both tend to be outgoing, optimistic, and outspoken, and they like to lead. The differences between those is that our I is more artistic and emotional in a demonstrative outgoing way, and our I is usually witty and easygoing. Our D tends to actually be unemotional and strong-willed, and they are more decisive and organized due to the fact that the I is people-oriented or relationship-oriented, and the D is task-oriented. We can then also look at our D and what we have on the bottom, is actually our C. So that is called a complementary blend because they have some characteristics that are outgoing, optimistic, and outspoken, but then they have some that are introverted, pessimistic, and soft-spoken. So this is definitely a person that would always classify themselves as an ambivert, and they are going to be demonstratively outward, usually unemotional and strong-willed, somewhat decisive and organized, and inwardly for themselves, they're going to be artistic and emotional, and they're going to do a lot of analyzing. And in some instances, they can lead as well because they have that D with them as well. And then when we move to the complete bottom, where we have our C on the right-hand side and our S on the left-hand side. This is a natural blend because both of these tend to analyze. Our C analyzes data, our S analyzes people. Our C is going to be goal-oriented inwardly and artistic and emotional, and our S is usually gonna be fairly unemotional and strong-willed when it comes to people. The C is goal-oriented and the S is not necessarily goal-oriented. So this is going to be a healthy person that can meet goals because they have a balance there. And they both tend to analyze. They analyze data and they analyze people. And it's a natural blend. And then we can also have the blend where we have our SI or IS. And that is going to be a complementary blend that is relationship oriented. So that particular person, when it comes to data, they're going to be a little less, they're going to be unemotional and strong willed, not necessarily goal oriented, but with people, they're definitely going to be artistic and emotional, witty and out, out easygoing. And again, this is a compliment complementary blend because sometimes they can be introverted, pessimistic, and soft-spoken, but they can also be outgoing, optimistic, and outspoken when need be. All right, and this is a chart that kind of brings a lot of it together. Is there any, I see that there's a lot of, in the chat, is there any like current questions or anything anybody wants to comment? I just um, found it so interesting because I learned that I'm an SI. So I was just putting in the chat how exposed I felt. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's so helpful, though. It, it's it so helpful as you're going through these because it, I'm thinking about even just the interaction with other people and how, yeah. you know, how they work together. So this is great. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's how I felt too after I retook the test, especially when I was like, wait, 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 wait. I, I legit, my friend made me take the test and then I came home and I retook it again. I was like, this is it. Nah, this is wrong. This is, this is, I can't be this. This has to be wrong. And I retook it and I was like, okay, fine. And then I had to read the book and figure out why. Okay, so yeah, so this is kind of bringing some of it together. And this is really the chart that helps us. How do we communicate with other people as well? So again, we're starting in this left quadrant with our D. And when we're communicating with other people or when we're trying to answer questions for ourselves, the D wants to know what. What is the reason for this? They want to get to the point right away. They like to have control of things. And again, they are fast paced, extroverted and optimistic. And this is really important. Again, if you are a C and you are having a conversation with a D, you're going to want to give them all these facts so that they know that it's logical and they got all the details and they're going to be like, what are you talking about? Get to the point. So you're going to want to just speak in a language that that D can understand better. And then both of, again, these are optimistic, tend to be outgoing, our D and our I. So you're going to be telling them, you're going to be speaking to them. It's going to be extroverted usually. And then we have our I, again, their influence, and they're going to want to know why. So why are we doing this? Is it going to be fun? Like that is the question that you have to answer when you're having an interaction with them. They're expressive. They tend to be right brain. They don't necessarily need to have that control. That, that is our I. And again, they are um, purposeful when it comes to being people oriented. They're very people oriented. And then we have our S. And what they want to understand is who, because they're so people oriented. They're not task oriented and they, they want to please other people. So they want to know who's going to be there. How's it going to work? They tend to emote. They're also right brain. They're amiable. They're peaceful. They tend to be slower paced, introvert, and pessimistic. And they're going to be the ones that are asking more questions rather than telling. And then we move to our C. And again, they're still on the portion that's slow paced, introvert, and pessimistic. They tend to be left brain, more an analytical, and they want to know how. This is the one that you got to get all the details. And like, this is, this is a perfect example that like, why good like partnerships work. Cause there's a lot of times where my sister and I will be teaching on health related stuff. And my sister is a, a C S and I am an I D and I can see sometimes her talking to people and she's giving them way too much information. And I'm like, I got to scoop in and save this person. Cause I'm like, you talking to person out of the sale. Like you, you're talking to them in C language and they're a D or somebody will come to me and they're like, but what's the science into this? And I'll be like, I don't know. I read it one time and it like, it comes, I eat green, but or I eat the C, but then it goes away. I don't understand it anymore. Go talk to my sister. She knows all that. Like if you want the details, go talk to somebody else. So this is always a list that they will have when you're going over this of just famous people. So you can kind of think of their personalities and be like, oh, okay, that's, that's what a D tends to act like. So famous Ds are David Letterman, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and Tiger Woods. Famous Is are Jay Leno, Bill Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, and Steve Martin. Famous S's are Barbara Bush, Jimmy Carter, Michael J. Fox, and famous C's are Tom Brokaw, Bill Gates, Diane Sawyer, Alan Greenspan. So, so again, we can see that 
you can be rich and famous and successful. It doesn't matter what your personality is, right? Like you can come from any of these. And then again, I've already put in the chat, if you want to get the formal, <laughs> the formal thing of what your personality is, this is by far the best test that I, I like. Before Personality Plus was my favorite, but um, like I said, this one separates it out a little bit, and which I think is really important because you can kind of sometimes trick the test if you answer them in a certain way. And I feel like this test, you can't trick it. And then if you want to deep dive into these and really, really get a good understanding of them, um, Personality Plus and the People Code for sure gave me the best understanding of these personality types. So that's what I had to share. Oh, lots and lots of information and data. Oh, and then I had my, I did have all my, uh, my info after that, but I could just put it in the chat. So yeah, any questions, any stories, any insights? <laughs> well, I was just thinking like the variations with that because I can honestly see you know, I, I think, I, of course, I have to take it, but I, some things stand out, like, where I know I'm more towards, like, a C or S, but it's like, man, some of those D up there, I can totally relate to that. So do you think that majority of the differences, or maybe, like, what you've read in, certain, in different books, like, majority of those variations come from experience that we've had, or are they just learned, or are they, you know, are they... Um, so it's a, it's a combination of both. If you are a, if you are truly a natural blend, which is the CS and the ID, that's usually what you are. And you're faking the other one because you've had to fake it for some reason. And you really need to figure out like what your motivation is to know like what you, what you truly are. But if you're a complimentary blend, if you're like, have a little bit of both, I have seen those where you have like one dominant one, like you're, you're the dominant D and then you have some C and S or you have some C and I, like I do see that frequently. And again, I think when you take the test, it'll kind of sort that out for you. Cause again, when I take, even I have some of all of them in that disc test that I take, I probably only have like one of the S or whatever, but I, but for sure, because it separates how are you at work, like it, it makes it very clear the part that I'm faking on that test, <laughs> which is my C. Yeah, that's neat. Any other questions? I really liked how you talked about getting to the motive of it because I can definitely see how you might think you're one way, but really the motive is because of that something else that's at the core. Yeah. So I thought that was, that was really good. And I see Monique said it in the chat and I, I mean, I'm not really surprised by what mine was, <laughs> right. uh, but it's funny because, so my sister, you know, I don't know if she's taking this, but I will say, I would bet she's more like the C um, she's like a senior regional property manager. And so many times she calls me and she's like, can you read this email to see if I'm hurting people? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Cool. That's, and that's, that's, that's good that she's, she's aware. And that's what it's all about. It's really about self-awareness so that again, you can create those partnerships and you can create those teams of what you need. Like, the same thing for me, like, you know, in my business, I have a virtual assistant because I don't want to do the detailed work. Anytime I have to do something that if I got to edit something, if I got to sit in the computer, front of the computer for hours, that's going to drain me. And then I no longer have enough energy and time for the things that I need to do. I need to be people in as much as possible. I need to be having fun as much as possible. That's how I operate. So I need to create a team around me that allows me to do that. That's how I can move faster. Like you said, that's no fun. Sitting in front of a computer is no fun. I need to need to get out. See, my husband, he'll be like, why are you in front of the computer? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm on Canva. This is my downtime. This is good. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so it's not just me because I no, put me in a group of people. people. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I guess so for me, I don't like the. I'm a procrastinator. Mm-hmm. I wait till the last minute because I feel like I get my best work. Sometimes if I have too much time, I don't know. Maybe it's hard, hard for me to focus at times. I, I can't figure it out. But now I'm learning to do the hardest task first. Yeah. To get it over with. But I I feel like I work best under pressure. I think mm. I work best under pressure. Mm. I, I, think I, I feel like I, I'm more, because I don't think I'm creative. I don't think I, I, I'm very in the box. So I feel like I have more creativity and I get the best work when I am under the gun. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see where that, where that comes from. Because mm-hmm. yeah, really it might be that you, you need to, maybe you will do better if you collaborate with people. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an only child, but I feel like an only child because mm-hmm. me and my sister are so far apart. I'm used to kind of playing by myself. Although I like playing with others, but sometimes I feel like I'm not heard. <laughs> Sounds like you need to take that test. <laughs> yep. No, listen, I already li- clicked on the link and was like, I'm going to do it now, but I mean, I can't do it right this second. But yeah, no. I've taken well, it Well, Monique has another question. You can, I mean, you can feel free. I mean, we got 15 more minutes if, if people want to try to take the test and see. I was going to yeah. take it. And I was like, wait, I can't focus. I'm going to get a false right. positive. I don't know. It's not going to be right. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you got to. So, so my question is, do we get a follow-up from this? Uh, <laughs> like, we need a follow-up. Like, what did you discover? <laughs> mm. Oh, that's true. Can we kind of work with you? Like, reach out to you, Tashina? To oh, absolutely. About- absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because you know that for, you know, for anyone that's in part of any of my networking groups that I offer a free consultation and I've already done three free consultations within the group. So, yeah, you guys can definitely get on my calendar. I'll just put my Calendly link in here after you do your test results and I can share with you what strategies will work best for your personality. Oh. That is something oh, that I do. You. Yeah, <laughs> with my clients so much yeah because yeah. I was I was wondering about that too like in building teams so that's it's it's funny and that's why I look forward to talking with you because based on that you would think I'm really good at like building my personal team like building networks I'm great but like my own team and like delegating who does what I'm not good at that I really do take everything on so I'd love to talk with you what like do you have people that you're interested in take this test? You know what I mean? Like to help mm-hmm. fill in the gaps of what, where you, where you lack, you know? So I, I definitely want to work with you on that. Yeah. Yeah. We can definitely do that. Yeah. yeah Lita, I'm surprised you said that. Cause I thought you, I, I see you as a team builder. Like that is your, like, I don't know. I see that as her jam. <laughs> it, it's so that's the thing. Like I can build teams for other people. And I can build like networks and groups. But when it comes to like a team that's like part of my business, like, okay, this person handles virtual assistant, this person handles, you know, the marketing, that's where I struggle because I, part of me just, it's just hard to delegate. It's hard to, and I don't know if that the people that I've brought in, like as part of that are, have my same personality and that's why it's a struggle Mm -hmm. because I would think it should be easy. (laughs) Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, I I struggle with that part. I think for me, it's because I feel like they're not going to, they're not going to do my vision. Like, I have a vision, and I know what I want, and I just feel like I'm the only one that can do what I want. You know what I mean? I'm the only one that's going to make it what I want it to be, because I know what I want it to be. Yeah, that could be it. Although I will say, so I, I, I think I've shared before, like systems, and it, it said it right in that test. I hate systems. Like <laughs> I'm bad with like just the tax, like, you know, all the little nuances mm-hmm. and everything. So I feel like I could hand that over probably <laughs> with no problem. Right. Because <laughs> it just kind of sits there. <laughs> yeah, this is good. 
Monique, did you have something else? I did. I'm just enjoying reading the results. I finally, I got through it. And it's so funny. Um, when I was taking it, I was like, okay, I'm just going to take it for like three minutes. And I had to turn it all the way down. And the next question was, do you like to um, collaborate or something like that? I was like, ah, you just, how did you hear what I just did? How do you know what I just did? Because <laughs> I'm like, I need my, I need to focus on this by myself. And that was the question. So yeah, I knew I was pretty much when you were going through what the supportive and the C, what is C? Uh, hmm. I forgot what C Cooperative, probably. Um, concern, considerate, careful, cautious. It's cautious. cautious. Supportive and cautious. They're like interchangeable. <laughs> and well, one is towards people and one is towards data. But yeah. Data. Yeah. So yeah, that 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 is pretty much that's me. Yeah. Put me in a in a box and I'll I'll work it out eventually. Well, now, no, now you just work within your strengths and then you create partnerships with the people who have different strengths. Yeah. And then you move faster. Exactly. If- because that cautious, it, it also, like uh, Katrina was saying, is about procrastination and, and Lita already know. It's like, but wait, 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 I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, and that's that's me all day, you know. And so the po- the the opposite would be would be you, Tashina. Yes. The person who learns about NFTs on December 21st buys her first NFT on January 4th and starts mm-hmm. teaching to other people a week later. That's, that's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I call my friend, the teacher was taught me about NFTs. I was like, hey, you need to join my NFT basics Facebook group. Like a month after he taught me about them. And he's, he's like, you're an NFT basics. How are you teaching other people already? Like, no, no, no. I got this. I got this. I don't need to know everything. I'm going to learn it as I go. Like I have no fear of that. <laughs> That's so, fantastic. Yeah. So to be back on that, for me, that's how it is. I... I'm like, oh, this is a lot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure it out. So that's why I give myself all this time. But then when it comes down to the wire, it's like, sit down. You can figure this out. You figure it out. And I just figure it out as I go. So it, that's so that's why I say I procrastinate because I feel like I do my best work because once I know I'm under the wire, I know I'm going to get it done. But when I have the time, it's just like I can swing on both sides of the pendulum. But when you're working in your zone of genius, it should it should click fast. You shouldn't have to have pressure to do it. Mm. So should do we need to how how um beneficial do you think it is in buying like the information, you know, because this is almost uh when you finish the test, it's almost like a, a advertisement. Do you I think- haven't bought it? Okay. I would read the books. I mean okay. that's the cheaper way for me to do it. Fantastic. But yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. so I think we'll one, book the the, um, one book is $15 and one book is $20. So, mm-hmm. And I could probably get it on Audible, which would be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In, in the world of real estate, the reason why they encouraged us with it is because some people feel like once you know what your personality type is, you can't work with other personalities, but it's supposed to give you the mindset or the shift that you can work with other personalities once you understand the personality type. Exactly. And that's how I operate. Like I said, nothing will make me angrier than when a person like does karaoke and they're like, you can't be a S. You love to be on stage. No, like that doesn't have you. Everybody can learn to be a presenter. Those are skills. Leadership is a skill. Communication is a skill. Stage presence is a skill. It doesn't matter what personality you are to do any of those things. So I still have to do spreadsheets and database. That's all I did today at work. I still got to do it. It's still part of my job. I still can do it. It ain't fun when I do it, but I can still do it. Yeah, I think you talked about it even in the presentation, how um, even just how you communicate, 
with another person. I think I, I love it because sometimes you can get frustrated because you're just like, why aren't they getting it? Like <laughs> I'm explaining it. Why are you not getting it? But if you're explaining it from say the who, you know, how it's impacting people, but they're coming at it from the the data and how, you know, the, the why or whatever, then I can see like, you're both going to be like, what is the problem? You know, right. So it's yep. good to, and I would be curious too, like, when it comes to doing like presentations, things like that, do you try to encompass all of those different things in your style, like address certain aspects of it that yeah. can appeal to different ones? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So and one of the, and there's a lot of easy ways to do that. Like, so one of the things that you can do in order to do a presentation like that is to start with something funny, which I usually do. That's going to appeal to your eyes, right? Like I told the story about my mom today. Like, so like that is one of the things to do in the beginning to get up because the, the eyes and the D's need something immediately to stay connected. And, you know, the C's came there with a notebook and they were like, okay, I came to learn. So when she gets, they'll, you'll at sometimes <laughs> after a while, they will be like, can you give me some real data? But they still gonna sit there because they're passive. They're not going to leave. So they're like, they, they might get irritated with the joke and be like, are you going to give me some real information ever? But they're going to still sit there. So in the D's, like when you, a lot of times, if, if, it, if I have a lot of different information, you want to make sure you have that outline in the beginning, because they want to know what is the point of this presentation? Like, when are you, so those are just some of the things that you want to do in the beginning, like having a, a, a specific so outline or, or talking to it. But That is so funny, because meanwhile, us, us S and I's, we're just like, oh, people, interact. <laughs> right, exactly. so good. <laughs> You don't know how many bosses have told me, why don't you bring notebooks to, and I'm like, cause I'm an auditory learner. I'm gonna get it. I promise I'm gonna get it. And they'd be like, that looks so unprofessional. Fine. I'll bring a notebook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. I know we just had someone to join. So um, if you look Dora in the chat there, Tashina left a link to the personality test. And then of course, there's also some other links of information. Um, of, and this will be, this is recorded. So if you're interested in getting, you know, a copy of it, just feel free to leave your information in the chat. Um, Cause I know we are basically wrapping up now, but we are glad that you joined. <laughs> um, Thank you, and ladies. Just, uh, I just got caught up with a, a customer here. So I'm sorry I couldn't join you all on time. Oh, it's okay. Did you have any questions? So, hi. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Did you have any questions specifically for Tashina just on the topic? And maybe we can take a few minutes and kind of address that. Not really. I just wanted to join, listen in, just to see what's going on. Gotcha. gotcha. But thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're so welcome. Thanks for, for joining. Yeah, of course. Yep. All right, Tashina, I'm on your schedule. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. And see, once again, me, the sister, the 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 person that doesn't like the sister. <laughs> like, right. Colin, I hate Colin. Colin, I can't even say it. Please <laughs> take my tongue to say it too. <laughs> well, Tashina, I'm not gonna get on the calendar until I finish the exam. Until I finish the test. Right. <laughs> And then I need to see where I'm at. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's all good. It's all yeah, all when good. we um, have our, our discussion, we'll plan on how we're going to take over the world. Oh, absolutely. That's my that's my job as a... Your ID. I mean, my FC. Absolutely. Absolutely. Be in there. Forget about it. Oh, hey, my goodness. Uh, sorry, before we uh, wrap up. So are you a, a coach? Like, what is it that you... Mm -hmm. And I don't know yeah. that not over stepping yeah absolutely yeah so right currently I refer to myself as a holistic business coach when you hit my Calendly link you can check off the boxes of what you want to talk about so I help um, small businesses entrepreneurs and busy professionals up level their businesses and become 
more profitable without getting stressed out. So I work with other coaches and consultants are setting up their pricing strategy from an overall perspective, personal branding, social media, things of that. That's another thing, right? Like I'm giving you the mindset and the attitude and the brand words and direction. Like my sister, she does some social media stuff. We were at a network and they're like, oh, you do, you do what your sister, oh no, I don't do anything. She is going to go into data and analytics. I don't do any of that. I don't want to look at no numbers. We ain't going to do that together. <laughs> if that's what you want, you go to her. We do something very completely different because <laughs> she's the CS. <laughs> she likes looking numbers. I don't do numbers. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, when, when you see um, my uh, my Calendly link, there's a bunch of things that I that I offer on the menu. You can check it off, and it, you'll have more clarity on, on some of the things I help people with. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this. This is this has been great. Yeah. Some good things to, to think about. Awesome. Awesome. So I glad. Didn't take it. I, I had in some of my real real estate books and I kind of skimmed over it, but I didn't really delve into it. And then I've done some of the other like personality ones. Um so I'm, it's, it's exciting for me. I like yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you first get the you gotta you gotta get through that exposed part first and be like like oh my goodness and then once you get over that you'll be like okay i guess it's true all right now we're just gonna work with this <laughs> and before you all go let me actually drop so those who are not familiar with business crossing network i'm gonna actually put the facebook group um in the chat so let me just pull that up really quick and that way if you're not already following us you can join us over there so let me do that. Let me get the link because we would love, love, love to have you join and get um, the various updates and all that good stuff. So let me put that in the chat. Are you, is it, uh, you're more active on Facebook, Lita? Be seen as more active on Facebook. Facebook and Instagram, pretty much. On Facebook, we can have a little bit more dialogue discussion. So we do, you know, I try to put a little bit more topics for interaction and we're still trying to just build that. Um, but it, Facebook and Instagram, um, but I think, you know, Katrina, still join the Facebook group because you get, you'll get some different information there too. Plus you can just go back and see where the free seminars yeah. are. <laughs> it's just no, easier no, no. to do. No, I will. So... I, <laughs> I don't know if I got hacked. I don't know what happened. But I got locked out of Instagram. Then I got locked out of Facebook. Then I got back into Instagram. So I'm just trying to figure my way back into everything. But I will, okay. once I get back into Facebook, I will join the group. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds all good. Right. Well, ladies, this all was right. Awesome. Thank you. Yay. Thank, you, thank, thank you. you all. Thanks again to Sheena. We'll see you next month. Do you know by chance what your, your topic next month is? Yeah. It's going to be. Um, a bigger strength and vitality holistically. So we're going to deep dive a little bit more into uh, nutrition, your macros, your Ooh. essential nutrients, um, types of exercise that everyone should be doing. Oh, I'm, I'm there like for this one. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. Yes. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for doing these monthly series. And of course, being a part of VCN. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, and I think that is a wrap. You Bye. all have an amazing evening. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you again. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. I'll email you it, um, Dora. So I'll okay. email you the information. I got your email. All right. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.